All right, welcome to my super high-tech video on how to do the Poisson distribution on a graphics calculator. All right, so we've got this question here where Daniel and Harrison are going out for an ice cream. They each get hokey pokey ice cream, which if you are not from New Zealand, you might not know. It's a type of ice cream, which is pretty awesome. Um, it's got pieces of hokey pokey in it, which is honeycomb pieces. So anyway, they, there's these chunks of hokey pokey randomly distributed throughout the ice cream. And the ice cream maker claims that there are on average six hokey pokey pieces in a regular scoop of ice cream. So Harrison gets his ice cream and unfortunately discovers that he has no hokey pokey pieces in his ice cream and he tries to work out what's the probability of that happening. So this one follows a Poisson distribution. We're told the average is six, so lambda is six. We can write that also by summarizing that data as it following a Poisson distribution because it fits the acronym of RIPS. You can go and watch the video on uh, RIPS to figure out why it fits that acronym. All right, so if it follows a Poisson distribution with lambda six, we want to find out what's the chance that we got no pieces of hokey pokey. So what was the probability of X being zero? So we go over to our graphics calculator. We want to be in the stats menu. We will go along to distributions and we're looking for Poisson. It's not there, so we need to do our arrow to move along and find Poisson just here. So press F1. Now we are finding the answer at one particular point, so we need to go for PPD. PCD is when you're doing cumulative up to and including a point. We want PPD. So we do that. Now I've reset the calculator so you can see what this will probably look like when you open it up. This is saying that the data is in a list on your calculator, which it's not. We haven't input any lists for this um, information. So we need to change that from list to variable. So we press F2. Okay, now our X value is when X is zero and mu on your calculator is our lambda from the question. Just with plus one, we tend to call it lambda. It means the same thing, it's the average of six. So we enter that and we get our answer looking like this. Now that minus three there means that it's a very small number and our two starts in the third decimal place. So we write that as 0 0.002479. Now with these distribution questions, we tend to go to four decimal places. That's mostly because that's what the tables go to if you had to read this off of a table instead of your graphics calculator. Now, if you're answering this on an um, exam paper question, I'd just put a little GC in the brackets to say you've got no working out there because you did it on the graphics calculator. All right, second question is that Daniel ordered a double scoop of ice cream and found 10 pieces of hokey pokey. What were the chances of that? So in a double scoop, lambda is going to be twice as big. So now we're going with lambda is equal to 12. What's the probability that we get um, 10 pieces in double scoop. So altogether, our lambda has changed. And remember with a Poisson distribution, that just works proportionally. So if you double the scoop, you are going to double your lambda. So that lambda is now a 12, and our x value is 10. It's the chance that we got 10 pieces of hokey pokey. So if we enter that, we get our probability is equal to 0 0.1048. All right. What was the chance of getting at least 10 pieces of hokey pokey in a double scoop? So now not exactly 10, but at least 10. So 10 or more. So X is going to be greater than or equal to 10. Now our calculator can cope with cumulative um, numbers like that, so more than one at a time, but it only goes up to and including a point. So we need to rewrite that in terms of um, up to and including something. So it would be the opposite of looking at if we went less than or equal to nine. So if it's the opposite, we're gonna do one minus since probabilities always add up to one. So we'll do one minus the probability of everything up to and including nine. If you want a little picture to kind of imagine that, if we were doing all of the numbers of hokey pokey pieces that we could get, and they go on forever. If we wanted to get 10 or more hokey pokey pieces, that's the opposite to doing nine or less. So that's how you can think about this. Right, so this will be one minus. Now we need to go into a slightly different place. So we'll go distributions, uh, Poisson, but now we're doing cumulative up to a point. 
So now we're doing a cumulative frequency up to and including nine. So your calculator includes the X value that you put in there. That's why we need to do the nine. Um, our lambda is staying at 12 as being a double scoop. And so now we get that that probability up to and including nine is 0 0.2424. And if we take that away from one, we get 0 0.0576. All right, now, just pushing it one little step further, we're going to have a look at this one. So another ice cream brand claims that the chance of getting no hokey pe pokey pieces in a scoop is only 0.001%. What would be the average number of hokey pokey pieces per scoop to make that true? So this time we're working out what is lambda. Now for this one, you'll have to use your um, knowledge of the formula. So for the probability of x equals zero, to work out the formula on a Poisson distribution for x equals zero, it's e to the minus lambda. Now, the, the full formula you can get from the top of the table um, of values, and it's e to the minus lambda times by um, x, over x factorial and I've just remembered that wrong. That is of course supposed to be times lambda to the power of x. I missed a little bit in my haste um, but that formula is on your formula sheet. It's at the top corner of your Poisson tables. Okay but uh, since lambda is um, sorry x is zero in this situation we only need this part because if you times anything to the power of zero that's going to be a one and zero factorial is also a one so when it's equal to zero that's the easiest case we've got so we're told that that probability of it being equal to zero is 0.001 percent so if we turn that into a decimal we get this decimal here 0 0.00001 because okay, remember this is a percentage up here so all right now if we are going to um, undo e to the power of lambda the opposite of e is the natural log okay so that's uh, on your calculator here it's this button here so for this one we have to do the natural log of 0 0.0001 you don't really need to know too much about e's and natural logs, but that they are the opposite of each other. So to undo this happening to lambda, we do the natural log on, of the other side. So if we do the natural log of 0 0.00001, we get minus 11.5. So that's minus 11.5129. So therefore, lambda is 11.5. So we've got an average of 11.5 hokey pokey pieces per scoop to make this claim true.